Congressman, this is Megan McCain. Um, you have claimed for years now that you have a smoking gun of evidence of collusion. Your quote is ample evidence of collusion. You said that. But Robert Mueller and his investigation found that there was no collusion. So can you share with us right here, right now, on The View, the evidence that you have and explain why Mueller was wrong yesterday? Well, first of all, Mueller wasn't wrong. Uh, Mueller started out by saying we didn't address the issue of collusion. So those who are saying no collusion, well, what's your evidence? they're just wrong. You've been saying that on well, TV yes. for years. Well, I will tell you, and we, and I've also been saying, as you know, that the evidence is in plain sight, not hidden anywhere. And we went through that evidence. The Russians offered dirt on Hillary Clinton in writing. Uh, and sent it to Don Jr. And Don Jr.'s response was in writing and said, as for your offer of foreign illegal help, I would love it. He accepted the offer. They set up a overt act in furtherance of that, the secret meeting at Trump Tower, and they lied about it. You have an offer of illegal help. You have the acceptance of that offer. You have an overt, overt act in furtherance of that conspiracy. That is, I think, by any rational American's expectation, the, the personification of collusion. Now, Bob Mueller had a different question he needed to analyze, which is, can I prove each of the elements of the crime of conspiracy beyond a reasonable doubt? And as you know, well before the Mueller report, I was pointing out to the public, there's a difference between what we understand as collusion and whether you can prove all the elements of crime. So would you consider uh, yesterday a big win for yesterday. Democrats? Would you consider yesterday a big win for Democrats? Uh, you know, I would consider it a win for the American people that right. they got to hear from the person who did the investigation. They got to hear unfiltered by anybody else what he found. Uh, you know, for the former director of the FBI and the special counsel to say, effectively, the president acted immorally, unethically, unpatriotically, uh, and likely in a criminal fashion, uh, the American people needed to hear. Um, if you're measuring whether this is a success in terms of whether it brings us closer to impeachment or not, that was not my object with uh, wanting him to come in. My object was to find out what work did you do, what conclusions did you reach, and what work do we need to do to follow up on counterintelligence or compromise information to protect the country. This is Meghan McCain trying to catch House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff with a gotcha moment that didn't quite work out as she planned. And that's because her claim that there was no collusion is just a White House talking point. It has no basis in reality whatsoever. And to be honest, Meghan McCain doesn't even need to look to the Mueller report to find evidence of this. The American public has already been exposed to a slew of instances of collusion in broad daylight. We have, like Schiff said, the Trump Tower meeting in which Don Jr., Kushner, and Paul Manafort Fort met with a Kremlin-linked lawyer for dirt on Hillary Clinton. And we might be numb to it by this point, but accepting dirt on a political opponent from a foreign source is illegal, since it's considered a thing of value. Beyond that, we already know that Paul Manafort, Trump's campaign chairman, shared polling data with Konstantin Kalimnik, who has ties to the Kremlin. We already know that Mike Flynn, Trump's national security advisor prior to him taking office, had secret conversations with Russian Ambassador Kislyak about lifting sanctions on Russian officials, which is a violation of the Logan Act, prohibiting citizens from interfering in foreign diplomacy. And we already know that Trump himself went on national television and asked Russia to hack Hillary Clinton's emails. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. And we've heard the excuses that it was all a joke, Democrats have no sense of humor, Trump's the best conservative comedian since Dennis Miller. But we later found out that despite Trump's epic joke, Russians attempted to hack Hillary Clinton and the DNC's emails only hours later. So I'm not sure if Meghan McCain thinks that because we already know about these instances of collusion that they somehow don't count anymore, but they absolutely do. And granted, while the special counsel investigation might not have had enough evidence to prove that these instances rose to the level of criminal conspiracy, that doesn't mean it all goes away. That doesn't mean Trump is completely absolved. It means that the decision falls to Congress to decide whether or not to proceed with impeachment. And with nearly 100 lawmakers currently in support of impeachment, it seems like it's well on its way. But to make matters worse, while Republicans like Meghan McCain are on national television denying that any collusion even occurred, Republicans just voted down a slew of election security bills in the Senate. Two would have required campaigns to report to federal authorities any attempts by foreign entities to interfere in US elections, and another would have protected the personal accounts and devices of elected officials from hackers. This after the Senate Intelligence 
Intelligence Committee concluded today that election systems in all 50 states were targeted by Russia in 2016, largely undetected by state and federal officials, and after Mueller's testimony yesterday confirming that Russian meddling efforts are still ongoing. So instead of Meghan McCain haranguing Adam Schiff by parroting lies from the White House, she might want to ask her own party why it absolutely refuses to acknowledge the truth.